Introduction to Excel Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software that is used to track, analyze, and chart numeric information such as financial data, statistical values, grades, or any other item that can be established in columns and rows. Once data has been entered in an Excel worksheet, you can create formulas to perform mathematical computations. Once these formulas are in place, you can calculate the values to answer questions or create several scenarios. Information is created in Excel in a worksheet and is saved in a file called workbook. A workbook can contain several worksheets. Worksheet and Workbook Click Start Click All Programs Click Microsoft Office Click Microsoft Excel 2007 A blank Excel workbook appears on the screen. Many items you see on the Excel screen are similar to those in Microsoft Word. It has the same ribbon and the same tabs. A file created in Excel is called a workbook, which consists of three worksheets with default names, Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. Imagine a worksheet as a page with vertical and horizontal lines drawn in a grid representing rows and columns. Data is entered into a cell which is the intersection of a row with a column. A worksheet consists of 1,048,576 rows and 16,384 columns. Rows are numbered 1, 2, 3 and so on. Columns are lettered A to Z, AA to AZ, BA to BZ and so on. A column letter and a row number identify each cell. For example, A1 is the cell address for the intersection of column A with row 1. Entering and editing data. Click the cell B2 to make it active. Type Monday. The name box of formula bar always displays the name of the active cell. Now, click the cell F5 to make it active. Type Tuesday. MS Excel also allows you to edit the contents of your cells. Suppose you want to change Tuesday in the cell F5 to Sunday. For doing so, click F5 again to select it. Type Sunday. Tuesday in the cell F5 has been replaced by Sunday. Now, suppose you want to undo your previous step. That means you want to stay with Tuesday in the cell F5. For doing so, go to the undo option at the top of your screen near the office button. Click undo. As you can see, your previous step has been undone. Sunday has been replaced with Tuesday. You can also redo your previous step, that is, here you can again go back to Sunday once again. For doing so, look at the redo option next to the undo button. Click redo. You can again see Sunday in the cell F5. Now, suppose you want to delete the contents of the cell F5. For doing so, right click F5. Click clear contents. The contents of the cell F5 have been cleared. Saving and Renaming a Workbook Now, let us save this workbook. 
Click the Office button. Click Save. This is the Save As dialog box. Click Desktop to make sure that the workbook is saved on the desktop. Type Sales Data in the file name Edit box. Click Save. The workbook is saved as Sales Data on the desktop. You can also rename this file. For doing so, right-click the file. Click Rename. Press the Delete or Backspace key to clear the previous file name. Type Weekly Sales. Click anywhere on the desktop. The file name is renamed as Weekly Sales. This file can be opened in a computer installed with the latest 2007 version of Microsoft Excel. However, if you are sending this file to someone who still uses the previous version of Microsoft Excel, it is better you first save it as Excel 97 2003 workbook. For saving this workbook as Excel 97 2003 workbook, click the Office button. Click Save As. Click Excel 97 2003 workbook. You shall see the Save As dialog box again. Click Desktop to make sure that the file is saved on the desktop. Type Sales Report in the file name Edit box. Click Save. The file Sales Report is saved as Excel 97 2003 workbook on the desktop. Opening an existing workbook. Now let's see how you can open the existing file Weekly Sales. To open an existing workbook, click the Office button. Click Open. Click Desktop as you had saved the workbook on the desktop. Search for the workbook Weekly Sales. Click Weekly Sales. Click Open. The workbook weekly sales is opened. Selecting rows, columns and cells. Now let's see how you can select rows, columns and cells in a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Suppose you want to select cells C1 to C5. Click cell C1. Now press and hold the shift key and click the cell C5. Cells C1 to C5 are selected. Now suppose you want to select the whole D column. For doing so, bring your mouse cursor to D and click it. As you can see, the whole D column is selected. Now suppose you want to select the tenth row. For doing so, bring your mouse cursor to 10 and click it. The tenth row is selected. Now, suppose you want to select the whole worksheet. For doing so, bring your mouse cursor to the Select All button at the top left corner of the worksheet and click it. The whole worksheet is selected. Using AutoSum The AutoSum feature of Excel allows you to add up the numbers in a series of rows or columns automatically. Type 87, 164, 267 and 193 in the cells D6 to D9. Now click D10. Go to the AutoSum icon represented by Sigma. Click AutoSum. Click the green tick mark. The total of cells D6 to D9 appears in the cell D10. Renaming a worksheet. Excel allows you to rename a worksheet. Suppose you want to rename sheet 1 as first sheet. 
To rename the sheet, right click the sheet tab, sheet 1. Click rename. The name sheet 1 is selected. Press delete or backspace key to clear the existing name. Type first sheet. Click anywhere on the worksheet. Sheet 1 is renamed as first sheet. Inserting and deleting a worksheet. You can add or delete worksheet in the workbook as per your requirement. For inserting a worksheet, click the insert drop down button in the home tab. Click insert sheet. A new worksheet with the name sheet 4 is inserted in your workbook. Now, suppose you want to delete sheet 4. For deleting sheet 4, click the delete drop down button. Click delete sheet. Sheet 4 is deleted from the workbook. Cut, copy and paste in Excel. You can cut, copy and paste the data from the cells of the worksheet to the other cells of the same worksheet or a different worksheet of the same workbook or a different workbook. You can also cut, copy and paste empty cells in a worksheet. To select multiple cells, you should click on the cells with the shift key pressed. Suppose you want to copy the figures in the cells D6 to D10 and paste them to in the cells F1 to F5. For copying the figures, select the cells D6 to D10. Right click the selected cells. Click copy. The figures have been copied. Now select F1. Right click F1. Click Paste. The figures have been copied and pasted in the cells F1 to F5. Now, suppose you want to cut these figures and paste them in the cells J1 to J5. The cells, as you can see, are already selected. Right click them. Click Cut. Select the cell J1. Right click J1. Click Paste. The figures have been pasted in the cells J1 to J5. To exit the Excel program, click the Office button. Click Exit Excel. The Excel program closes and takes you back to the desktop. This brings us to the end of the topic Microsoft Excel 2007